this is the first tutorial for the cr beginner crochet bee kit. I want to start with the body and we're going to start with round one. You can buy this pattern on my Etsy, Lousy Llama Creations, or you can buy it in the kit also on Etsy. The first round is six single crochets in a magic ring. So I'm going to start by showing you how to do a magic ring and then your single crochets. I have my hook. It's a 5.0 millimeter. If you bought it with the kit, it's the same hook, same size. And I have my stitch marker. I'm going to start by taking the tail or the dead end of the yarn and placing it in my hand like this. I'm going to cross it over my hand and make an X. With my hook, I'm going to go under the first arm and then over the second arm. And because a crochet hook does have that little hook at the end, we're going to use it and turn it and pull it through. And then shimmy my hands out and pull my working yarn up and chain one. Let's show that again. To do a magic ring, take your tail, place it in your hand, wrap behind your hand and form an X. I like to take my thumb and hold it in the middle. Go under and then over and then bring through and kind of twist it up. Then I'm going to kind of shimmy it off my hands. Pull my working yarn up. And I'm going to do one chain. And to do a chain, we're going to pull this yarn, the working yarn, through the loop. And that's how you do a magic chain magic ring with one chain. Now we have to place our six single crochets onto our loop. To do so, I'm going to place my hook underneath both of these pieces of yarn and I'm going to tighten it. I do that by pulling my working yarn. Yarn over, which means the yarn goes on top of the hook. And then pull. So I have two loops on my hook. Yarn over again and pull through both of the hooks, both of the loops, excuse me. And that's how you do one single crochet. Well, let's show that again. Take your hook and go under both of these loops, pull it to tighten it, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both loops. If you're having some difficulties, try turning your hook. So here I turn it down and then go back up. And then here is a really good example. I have it facing up. I pull my yarn over and I twist it down and then I pull through the loops. And that helps so it doesn't get stuck. That was three. This is four. five, and six. Now this is a pretty fun part. You're going to pinch right here and take your tail and pull it through to actually form a ring. And that's the magic part of it. Okay. Pulling this out a little bit just so I can show you. So in our next round, we're going to go through both of these loops because that makes one chain. So that was number six, five, four, and then I have three, two, and one. I'm going to take my stitch marker and put it in the last stitch that I just made. And this is going to help us keep track of where we are in the circle. All right, that was round one. I'll see you in the next video for round two.